then the snow way up here is um, the snow is um, blue. Good, very good. Now when we zoom into our area, what's this white stuff you see here? They're clouds. Clouds. So there's still some clouds in the Red River Valley and points off to the east. That clearing we saw in the pictures moments ago taking place out to the west. Now, the radar isn't even showing much in the way of snowfall. But uh, when Hutch goes ahead and turns up the intensity here so we can see the weakest of returns on the radar, what's this blue stuff showing? It's snow. Very, very light bands of snow mm -hmm. still. And it's only showing them near the radar because that radar beam points up in the sky and gets over the top of those snowflakes fairly quickly. All right, here's our neck of the woods. Where is it the coldest to uh, go outside play a little basketball tonight? The coldest is um, in Langdon over here. Good. What's their temperature? One degree. One whole degree, okay. And then out west, where's one of the warmer temperatures you see? Um, it's 19 in Gwiner. Gwiner, very Gwiner. good. Now let's look off into Minnesota. We're going to sneak over this way and do our turn. And why don't you point out one or two temperatures out in Minnesota right now? Um, it's night. Um, yep. It's um, 14 in Thief 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 River Falls, and then. Um, in Devil's Lake, it's 18. Very good. All right, here's the forecast. The white stuff, again, is clouds. As we go through the evening now, by 10 o'clock, the clouds are supposed to start clearing a little bit. Temperatures will cool, and uh, as we take a look, Minnesota will be in the teens, but when we take a look over to the west, temperatures will be a little cooler because of clear. I don't think the model is doing a good job with these temperatures, but up near the border, we'll have some of you near or below zero, first thing, uh, as we head to bed tonight. Does it look cloudy or clear for most of the area overnight? Mostly clear. Mostly clear there, that model says. And how about temperatures when people get up and head out to the bus stop on their Friday? In Langdon, it's supposed to be 22. And then um, in like Bemidji, kind of in like that area, it's 15. Detroit Lakes, it's 19. Very good. A little chilly. Hutch thinks these are not chilly enough. I think that we're going to be a little cooler than this to start our day tomorrow. But many of us in the south where we didn't get much snow will be near 20 degrees. Now, for your Friday, in the lunchtime, one of your favorite subjects was what again? Recess and gym and do you like lunch, right? Yeah. Yeah, lunch is fun. If you get a lunch recess, these blue colors mean the temperatures will be warming here in the valley just a little bit. But the arrows mean it's going to be a little breezy. So... Probably a good day for Coat out on the playground. Yep. Here is a look at your bus stop forecast. Why don't you tell your classmates what they can expect at the bus stop in the morning? It's going to be cool and cloudy, um, wind at um, 10 miles per hour, and, it, and it's supposed to get 21 degrees. Good. And then after school, how hot? Um, 38 degrees, some clouds, and it might be breezy, um, wind at 14 miles per hour. Very good. The coldest weather up in northern Minnesota, temperatures there will be in the upper 20s and low 30s. Elsewhere, we have a shot at 40 where there's no snow on the ground. Does it look like there's snow on the ground here? Yep. Yeah, Mary Lots captured a lot of snow in Warren area. Thanks for uploading your photo. Why don't you tell everybody what they can expect Saturday very quickly. On Saturday, it's supposed to be pretty breezy. And then the lows supposed to be 27 and then 39 for the high. Very good. Have you done this before? No. Nope. nope. Okay. Sunday, even warmer, 43 degrees. And next week, we get a little colder as we head towards this day. Why is there a big turkey on Hutch's weather graphic? <laughs> Because um, that's Thanksgiving. Very good, young man. Simon, follow me over here. I got to tell you what, uh, next week for travelers on the Thanksgiving holiday, it does look like we'll have a chance of some snow impacting the region. Fargo, maybe not so much, but in the region, we'll have some measurable weather woes. If you're traveling, we'll keep you updated on that. Nice work. You did excellent. Good job. So do you like shoveling snow? Uh, kind of. Kind of? Okay, well... Call this kid. He can help you clean the driveway. <laughs> there you go. He charges a lot of money, so yeah, be prepared right. to pay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks, you Simon. Agree. All right, Simon, it's time to check your cheese nips in the cupboard. There's something inside the boxes that shouldn't be there that's still to come tonight. Dear Wallet, Toyota Black Friday is revving up. Pack and attack. Pack in the style, pack in the safety, and pack in the deals. The best part about Toyota Black Friday, you can get it all to go in one sleek package. Yours, Toyota. Celebrate Black Friday and get up to $4,000 customer cash on our favorite Toyota models. 
Find yours at buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Hear the word cancer and you know. It's a road that won't be easy to walk. But cancer didn't give you the choice. Yet we fight. Pursuing answers, looking at every option, collaborating at every turn. Because in heartbreak or in triumph, we're in this together. Cancer Care at Sanford Health. Health lives here. Hurry into Menards to get 11% off soft new carpet. Or get 11% off a sleek new shower. When I shake things up, you get 11% off paint. Customize with the Clearview Kitchen and get 11% off. Deck the halls and save 11% off everything in the Enchanted Forest. No matter what you're working on, you'll get 11% off right now at Menards.